Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about the catch all rule. It's 8200-1A, item 7, in the Canadian Electrical Code 2018. And we use this rule to determine the demand factors towards the size of our main service. Item 7 says any additional loads that exceed 1500 watts are added in at 25%. Now this is if there's already an electric range. If there's only a gas range, then we take these loads, add them up, and the first 6000 watts is taken at 100%, and the balance of these loads is then taken at 25%. So on the left hand side of my page, I've got an example where we've already done a calculation for an electric range, and we're just adding in the catch-all items. So in this list, I have a dryer, an iron, a microwave, hot water tank, and a sump pump. So the dryer is 5,000 watts. The iron is only 1,500 watts, and a rule said it must exceed 1,500 watts to count. So I've crossed it out. We're not going to add that in. Microwave, hot water tank, and then the sump pump it's a 6.5 amp, 240 volt sump pump, and that will add up to 1,560 watts. So we will include that. Add up all of those kit, all of those items, um, gives us 13,060, and we multiply that by 25% or 0.25, and so the total demand that would go towards the service will be 3,265 watts. That's because we've already accounted for a electric range. On the right hand side, this home only has a gas range. It has the same items that will fall under the catch all rule, but the calculation is then totally different. So I am going to include the same items. The dryer, we won't include the iron because it does not exceed 1500 watts. We will include the microwave, the hot water tank, and the sump pump. Those items add up to 16, 13,060 watts. Take that first 6,000 watts and take it over and we're gonna include all of the 6,000 watts. This kind of replaces the fact that we don't have a range calculated in because we have a gas range. Then we subtract that out of our total and we end up with 7,060. That 7,060 is going to go in at a demand factor of 25%. And so we're going to take that 25% over here. These two numbers now add up to the total demand that we would apply for the items in the catch-all rule when there is only a gas range in our home. Notice that when we have an electric range, those items would cause a demand of 3,265. But when we only have a gas range, the demand is 7,765, substantially more.